Welcome back and let's continue with script writing. This video is going to be an eye opener to content creators who do not write scripts. That's just a disclaimer. And I believe by the end of this video, you'll be able to learn something new. As always, we have a problem. We do not really write scripts always. Most content creators do not write scripts because they believe that they can be very organic, but they do not realize the mess that they are encountering. Because if you do not write scripts, then it means that you have a problem packaging your content. And that's why on YouTube or the content platform that you're using, there is something called audience retention. You're not going to successfully retain your audience to a certain, a certain minute of, of, of duration of the video that you're creating. Because how you package your script, it missed the element that the audience are looking out for. Maybe you put a very nice title, but then they start watching the video within the first few minutes, they just feel like, no, this is not the video that I was intending to watch. Why? Because you missed it out on script writing. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the four steps that I follow when I want to write a script. So the first one is, I always like to make things simple. Everything has to be simple. You know, I told you before that I use AI tools to come up with scripts. These are just where I get ideas from. This is where I write scripts from. But I have to humanize them because these are AI tools. Of course, they were created by human beings but they still lack that human element, you know? So you have to localize that content, you know? Because they use, sometimes they use very heavy language. The language that we do not usually communicate with. It's English, yes, but it's not the usual English that you communicate with, right? They use jargons that are a bit heavy, the words that are a bit heavy. So you have to simplify it to an extent whereby a young person, a child who is in primary school, can be able to listen to that video and actually understand. They can be able to comprehend what you're talking about. So use simple words, use simple uh, analogies, use simple uh, examples in that particular, in that, in that video that you're creating, in that content that you're creating, because your audience do not have the time to start thinking and overthinking. Not everybody is on the same level in terms of thinking, so you have to reason resonate with everybody that you're creating the content for because not everybody is like you of course you are a genius <laughs> so that is number one keep it simple number two is ensure that you read out your scripts loud if you don't read out your scripts loud you might be missing some of the mistakes that you you are because you're writing right you typed everything maybe it is two pages three pages and then it's you know you think everything is okay the moment you start reading it loud then you'll be able to, to not to see the errors that, that are there. You might even see that there are grammatical errors. There are some words that do not even sound correctly. So for example, when I was writing this script, I there are some words that I couldn't pronounce on the same sentence and they are following each other on the same sentence. So I had to replace from the word has resulted to has made. So, you know, reading it out loud, it helps you to actually hear yourself and you put yourself in the in the, in the audience shoes so that you can be able to say, okay, how are they going to perceive my message? Are they going to understand the words that I'm using? Are they going to comprehend and understand everything that I actually meant from the idea that I wanted to communicate to them using this script? So when you read it out, you will note those mistakes, grammatical errors, and you can be able to get rid of those kind of errors. Number three is also getting feedback. Feedback is always important. Feedback should always be, uh, be welcomed whenever you're doing anything in terms of content creation. You should give people the chance to critique your content, right? Because you're not creating that content for yourself, you're creating that content for other people. So you have to be able to welcome those people to critique that kind of content you're doing, right? When you say, you know, say two heads are better than one. So if you're thinking as a, a single person, you with your single head, you must invite other people to also add value because when they come in, they're not coming only to remove things, right? They are removing and replacing with other things. So when they are adding their own information, it's actually enriching the content that you're creating. So that is a very, very important thing. And number four is rectify and rewrite. So you have, after you read it loud, you go to people to go through the script. You know, you can, not everybody, right? You just look for the best. Not everybody should be able to review your script, by the way. You should be only looking at people who are actually having that creative mind. They understand, they have that creative maturity. They can critique content in a way that is uh, impacting it positively, not in a way that, you know, they're just limiting it to what they are thinking, right? So critiquing content is very important. The last thing is 
rectify and rewrite. So you have to rewrite all those changes that have been recommended by other people that you when you gave you went to to give to get feedback from. You have to implement them in a revised version of the script, and then you will see that maybe you wrote two pages, and then after adding a lot of information and getting a lot of unnecessary information, maybe you only have one minute page, right? One. Maybe you have one page and that one page is essential to capture the audience that you're actually looking for. So those four steps, ensure that you follow them to the latter and it's going to help you a lot when you come up with content for the future. It's going to help you a lot when you're coming up with content for the audience that you actually want to grow with. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we're going to learn more in this content creation series.